Well, another day, another championship decider in SBR with a GT3 season going right down to the wire here at Nürburgring Grand Prix. And this is round seven, the endurance race. And it's going to be between Kevin in his Toyota and Nathan in his Mercedes. So there's Kevin, number one champion last season, de determined to defend it again. But the interloper is uh, Nathan in the Mercedes, number 44. And Nathan's been on great form lately, but it is Kevin that is on pole ahead of his championship rival Nathan. So they're both on the front row. Second row is Will, and he's joined by Ben. Those Well, Ben has an outside chance at the championship. Liam is next ahead of Sean. Then it's Lewis, and he's ahead of Koolinen. Uh, Tassos is not here tonight, so he's replaced by Cozzy. Then it's uh, Coleman, Adam, who's got an outside chance at the championship. Brian, uh, Panos. Then there's Alex, and we have Andrew and Yorgos on the back row. So Alex is uh, joined tonight. He's uh, filling in. And we get ready for a start then, and this extremely important race. Waiting for the uh, waiting for the revs to go up. They do. The lights are coming on, and we are away and Nathan looked like he slightly jumped the start there and he has because he's moving out the way Kevin with a good start and he's away first by the looks of it but no the Porsche can sweep around the outside of Will Will absolutely flying down to the first corner takes the lead L Liam trying to sweep around the outside as well and well let's see what happens in the midfield I expect chaos although everyone seems to have got round so far into the Mercedes arena they come but it's not Mercedes leading and Nathan's getting hung out to dry so Kevin's had the best of that Kevin gets a little slap there from one of the Lexus which is Ben but everyone still seems to be surviving so that's a good start still everyone in a good line with uh, Alex bringing up the back in his first GC3 race with SBR he's done a couple of British touring car races but this is all a different ball game at the moment but it's Will that leads surprisingly the Frenchman leads as Lewis and Adam get together and that allows Coolinan to gain two positions Kevin sideways already, but uh, he'll be very pleased with the start. Ben not getting the best of starts, it's down to fifth. Teammate Sean's fl flown up the order up to fourth, but it's Will that leads in the Porsche, surprisingly. Got a great launch. Liam came through from nowhere as well to be second. As the front two did, well, Kevin bogged down and it looked like, uh, well, look. Nathan definitely jumped the start as the uh, Corvettes start to drop to the back and Yorgos is flying through the man it didn't really qualify too well but this is uh, Cozzy now the uh, standing driver for Tassos and he's looking at the back of Ben he's hit Ben up the back and well that's just sent him off the track and down to last place and instantly ruined any chance that he has at the championship completely stupid move from Cozzy and well just did not engage his brain he was just too busy staring at the back of the Lexus Meanwhile, Kalunin, speaking of not engaging your brain, just didn't even try to stop for the chicane there. And, well, some would say that's justice for completely irresponsible driving. And it's not the first time from Kalunin this season. And Kevin, meanwhile, was involved in that as well. We're just catching up with the action. And, well, as Ben was speared off, he collected the back of his teammate and that hit Kevin. So through the chicane they came. And that gave Nathan a chance to get past Sean and down the inside of Kevin. So all of a sudden the blink of an eye of the championship has completely turned on its head and Kevin well he can thank his teammate for part of that and Kevin tried to do the best he could to try and stop that move but Nathan was already through and now well for Kevin he's going to have to think of plan B and now Adam's doing the same as well Adam completely outbreaks himself into the side of Sean Sean well loses the back end but keeps the position Adam's probably wise not to have taken that position to be honest with you the Lexus there, front end on that car, very good as he flies into the uh, Mercedes Arena corner. And well, some uh, interesting driving to start the race, but out front, Will still doing a fantastic job. With, um, he's dragging Liam along with him. Nathan up to third with his championship rival, Kevin, right there. Now Kevin needs to respond. The uh, championship gap, by the way, going into this race, um, not very big at all. In fact, uh, I think it was about nine points. In fact, it was nine points, and it's 18 back to Ben. And then he had an outside chance as well as Adam as Ben dives down the inside now of 
Alex gets the move done as Alex loses the back of the car. So Ben making moves already, but the lack of horsepower from the Lexus, he's going to have a difficult afternoon. Meanwhile, Kevin now all, o all over the back of Nathan trying to retake that position. He knows how important this phase of the race is. And these two have been very, very equal through the season. As Nathan learnt GT3, he's got faster and well, he's put up a really good challenge to Kevin. It's been great to see them go at each other. Kevin's normally done better, but uh, Nathan seemed to really learn the trick of fuel saving in the last race at Fuji. They both had pretty standard sprint races, but which has kept the pack close to them. As we file through the chicane with the uh, BMW that caused all the issues at the back. Cozzy. Don't think Tassos would be too impressed with that. But anyway, Will still leads from Liam. Liam may be in fuel saving mode. I think now just starting to settle down after a frantic opening. Meanwhile, Coleman there in his um, St. Patrick's Day livery. Top of the volunteer. Best I could do, sorry. And, uh, I'm sure we'll have a look at look a closer look at that at some point during the race. But Coolinan passed. Ooh, Coolinan passed Andrew, and so is uh, Cozzy with a bit of contact. And Brian there waiting to pick up the pieces as Brian and Andrew have had great battles all season, to be fair. And Brian's come out on top on quite a few occasions. Meanwhile, this now this is the high-speed freight train. Yorgos, well, he's off. He started last. He was up to ninth, and now he's thrown it all away, and he will drop to last position as he will struggle to get back on track. Maybe he's doing the crossword. I'm not sure. But his teammates having a much better time of it. Will lead in the race, and then Liam just in the his wheel tracks. Maybe saving fuel, saving tyres, and they've got a good gap back to the championship battle between Nathan and Kevin. Just really hotting up, Kevin all over the back of Nathan. And they head down this straight. And then towards the NGK chicane. Which uh, Michael Schumacher helped model, I believe, back in the day. And here comes Cozzy again, his next victim's Kulinen. I hope I don't mean it like that, but <laughs> he'll try and make the move on Kulinen. Both Greek drivers, so I'm sure they have a bit more respect for each other. And the Brian and Andrew battle rages still. Nathan now just started to pull back, I, I would suggest, at the front too. He's starting to edge away from Kevin. And Liam now still just tracking Will at the moment. It's not looking too interesting in overtaking. Sean fifth. Adam sixth and already starting to struggle on tyres with Lewis. Ben down the inside of, of the uh, BMW Panos, but outbreaks himself worth a shot can't just sit behind someone and well Alex doing a good job but he's starting to fall backwards now struggling with understeer with the Corvette he said after so yeah, and you can see that he's not really holding the line and he's just allowing these two out of the way I think or well, maybe not Coonan goes past and now the aggressive Cozzy comes through as well Cozzy's not received a penalty yet for that incident with Ben but we're expecting one. And, uh, well, not endeared himself to the drivers on his... Uh, well, he has filled in a couple of times before and not really been an issue, but I don't know what he was thinking there. Meanwhile, Cullinan, though, does hold the advantage and, uh, well, you can see Alex losing the back of the car. Brian and Andrew at it. And Yorgos is caught up to the back of the pack. But now Liam leads. He's ahead of Will. So he's made the move. I'm sure we'll get to see it. And the cameraman has picked it up. And it's through that fast chicane at the back of the track. Through the Michelin curve and the bit curve. And Liam gets a better exit out of the second part of the... And he is through the Audi S, sorry. Wrong part of the track. And it was the Audi S that did for the Porsche. And the Audi is through. And Liam leads this race. Will will he be satisfied to sit behind as we go on board? No, nope, looked a bit weird. That was maybe a bit of lag from Liam there. It wouldn't be the first time we've seen that this season. Does suffer from a bit of lag sometimes. There's Nathan third, Kevin fourth, Sean fifth, Adam sixth, Lewis seventh, Coleman in his Patrick's Day uh, Nissan. 
and the rest come filing through Andrew now at the back and the battle for the league continues with Nathan now starting to edge in towards them and he's actually leaving Kevin so Kevin maybe trying to save tyres Ben again trying down the inside of Panos but that won't work like last time but they all continue on and uh, carry on through the Mercedes arena Liam still leads the race then having made that move on Will and Nathan's tracking them and closing all the time with Kevin dropping back slightly he'll be disappointed with that and uh, midfield getting all squirrely as the tyres start to wear on lap 5 and this is a very abrasive track guys with pads will probably feel that but uh, again down towards the hairpin the far side of the track Adam and Lewis the two pad drivers I know about are in well 6th and 7th at the moment so doing a pretty good job Coleman's uh, extremely lucky green Nissan is catching them though and if he gets a sniff of a straight line he'll be past them both meanwhile Panos is uh, ahead of uh, Ben Ben savaged by his teammate Cozzy early in the race and Liam's actually lost the lead now so Will's fought back in the Porsche down the back straight so uh, that was obviously uh, up through the Porsche, the Audi curve and he's got a run he's pretty much returned the favour to Liam and now Nathan is fully there he's fully involved in this fight Kevin again just off the back of this I'm sure there's a reason for that because normally he well, he's one of the faster guys here I know he hasn't practised as much as he'd like and Liam confirms a free stop strategy by the looks of it he's pitting on lap 5 so he's going to try the 5, 10 and 15 there'll be a mixture of strategy I'm sure maybe two two stops and three stops being tried out but as Liam's in Lewis is in and I imagine Adam's in as well being a pad driver so now it's Will that leads in this crazy battle which is now for fifth continues at a pace and Coleman though doing a great job uh, maybe he has got the luck of the Irish tonight Liam down the inside there of Cozzy and after an exit in the pits and Lewis as well and Adam have rejoined and Ro uh, sorry Brian's in as well but it's Will that leads now from Nathan Kevin up to third Sean fourth massive gap back then back to Coleman who's sort of holding these guys up which is quite easy to do when you've got the world's biggest engine at the front here 0-9 Nissan doing a good good uh, race at the moment moved up well Panos doing his best for BMW but he's got the Lexus all over him of Ben Ben's outside chance of the championship may be gone but he's still looking racy and he's trying to get down the inside of the BMW now will he be able to get him on the exit Liam's there as well slide from the BMW Panos now one of them has to back out here and who's it going to be it's going to be Panos Ben swoops around the outside and now he might even have a run on Coleman and he has he'll try to go around the outside Coleman covering the inside and the level Ben will try and hold it around the outside but not to do nothing doing now down the inside is a gap but oh, it closes and well Coleman probably thought he had that covered and now he's been muscled out by Panos as well and Liam's there and here comes Cozzy again hold on to your doors as Coleman tries to retaliate down the straight with the power but now they're full wide going into the chicane and well that isn't going to work and well let's just see what happens who comes out the other side and it's well Cozzy gets the, the best of that Coleman decides I've had enough of this craziness I'm going to pit and get the hell out of this and the two BMWs run side by side Sean's in, Nathan's in some crucial pit stops happening as we said Coleman's in Nathan did pretty well with the fuel saving, he's got 50 left Sean's short field and the BMW's going to combat with looking like Cozzy down the inside and he even manages to hit his teammate and Liam's down the inside and he needs to try and get past these guys as quick as possible so he can use his tyres around the outside of one BMW now will he shoot down the inside of the other one? Ooh, not really, not very well anyway, he's just tagged the back of him Ben looking like he's out of tyres, Cozzy looking like he's low on tyres so the three stoppers have made their stops, now it's down to the two stoppers to plan theirs and Sean down the inside of Kulin and so he's got that done and up into seventh place as he comes through on fresh tyres Ooh, Liam's really abusing his though as he tries to still tries to get past Cozzy we have to 
treat the back end of that BMW like the hind legs of a donkey because uh, he's had some moments, Cozzy. Sean tracking Panos though, needs to get through as quick as possible. He's got Nathan right behind him with, left, with more fuel. Through the Audi S they go and down now towards this overtaking opportunity for Sean. Will he dive down the inside? No, not quite. He's trying to make the move clean. So we track back to see Andrew at the back and at the front. Will's been joined by Kevin and Kevin's all over the back of him. Out the chicane. It looks like Will's heading to the pits. He does. Kevin stays out. So he's uh, going long in the first stint. Let's put it that way. Ben through the chicane and, and Cozzy again. No words. And his teammate spins out of sympathy. And now what the hell is Liam doing? Liam's trying to overtake everyone down the pit lane. I'm not sure that's uh, the racetrack to be fair. Well, he tried the opposite of Fuji last time, so why not? Really not an overtaking opportunity down the pit lane entry as everyone's trying to pit, but whatever, what do I know? Will comes out of the pits though in 6th, maybe 7th as Adam sweeps through. Adam late on the brakes, takes the position. Can he hold the line? Yep. So Will's actually lost out in that shuffle, but he has taken a lot of fuel on and stop later so he'll have pretty decent tyres as Coleman comes out in front of Cozzy Ben comes out behind Gulen and but tries to instantly change that to no avail Panos has lost a lot of time and Yorgos is still recovering from that uh, early skirmish into the gravel at that point there but Kevin's staying out then so I'd imagine he'll probably pit this lap if he wants to do a two stop it'd be an ideal time but Liam leads the uh, chasing pack of free stoppers. But uh, Sean and uh, Nathan and that, they've left themselves open to maybe doing a two stop because they did stop later of the free stoppers, or so called free stoppers. But it all depends on tyre wear and fuel. And we saw Nathan was quite good with the fuel. But between him and Kevin, it's getting really exciting. And we need to see who comes out on top. Kevin obviously trying to something a little bit different and probably a two stop. And expect if you're going to do a two stop, you'll have to pit this lap to get the most out of the tyres. Let's see if he does as we switch back to this battle for second and third, which Sean is closing in on Liam pretty quickly. Liam's tyre is about two laps older. We know the Lexus is a great race car, but not so good in qualifying. Lexus is pretty good on fuel, pretty good on the tyres, but seems to have seems to do better with a uh, full tank and everyone else on the same sort of fuel. And Kevin doesn't pit, so Kevin's staying out. So surely he's not even thinking about a one stop with this abrasive track you have to feel that would be a mistake but maybe he feels he needs to try something different we'll keep an eye on that again if he stopped at the end of the next lap he still would could pull a two stop but he'd have to do a pretty early second stop and you can see he's not really gifted with a lot of grip and the tyre wear as you can see on the bars down in the bottom left the tyres are absolutely short if you compare them to Liam's which are fully white the redder they are, the more worn they are. And, uh, well, Kevin's look like the second-hand tyres that you'd buy at some dodgy garage. Not mine. But uh, Adam, though, trying to fend off Will. So Will's kind of lost out in the shuffle of positions. He was leading the race, and he's come out of the pits, the first round of pit stops in seventh. So well, he's going to hope that he gets payback with the amount of fuel he's put in. Midfield battle still rages from 7th down to 11th. Or, sorry, 8th down to 11th. But Will's all over the back of Adam, but Adam's not that great uh, great to try and overtake. He won't make it easy. Around the outside from Will, and we get that done. That's a some move. And he looks like he's got to have surely got that done, but no, he backs out of it. Doesn't want to go side by side with the Mercedes. Did he get a better run for the Chicane? We'll have to come back to it. Kudo in 10th, Ben 11th, Panos in 12th ahead of Yorgos as we go back to the lead and still Kevin ploughs on with what's left of his tyres. He's obviously paying the bill for the tyres and he doesn't want to change them. It just really doesn't look like he's got a lot of grip. Liam though, with a lot of grip, as has Sean and now, well, Nathan's closed in on the back of these pair and in fact he's looking at the inside of Sean. Is he going to get that done into the last corner? I would say yes. And nothing Sean can do about that other than take a wide line and try and get a run on the straight. But we know the Merck's gifted with a lot of power and he's probably got a bit of slipstream from Liam. In the background, Adam and Will are still at it. 
And Lewis isn't too far back either. Lewis doing well in fifth at the moment. Just trying to get on terms with these guys. Will again trying to go around the outside. Adam's got it covered, so Will tries to switch back. Will he do it now? Oh, good, great move from Will. Sweeps, sweeps around the outside. We'll go with sweeps. First sweeps to sweeps, and gets that move. And the Frenchman now up into sixth place. The Irishman, Coleman, though, holding up another car there, and doing a great job of it. This time, not that great through the corners, but great down the straights. That's not Coleman's fault. He'll drive the wheels off anything you give him. Well, Kevin's going to have to rely on wheels in a minute if he carries on any longer. This is lap 10 now, and he's still on his original set of tyres. Somehow these guys haven't caught him. But this one-stop strategy, well, at the moment, it's 50-50 where it's going to work. He still has the lead, and these guys have stopped, and they haven't caught him. We've got his teammate still trying to fend off Ben, who's still looking more interested at the back of his car as he tries to go around the outside. That's not going to work there. We saw Will try that. It didn't work, and it didn't work for Ben either. Now back to the battle for second, and, well, Nathan is lining himself up for a move with Liam. I'm pretty sure this, the uh, Mercedes will make mincemeat of the Audi down here, and it is. Now if Liam can just hold on on the inside. No, he can't. It's a done deal. The afterburners were lit on the Mercedes and through goes Nathan into some free air. Does Kevin pit this lap? This is looking a bit feisty as well. Kevin is in. Kevin has pitted. Ben now all over the back of Koolinen, who's all over the back of Co Coleman. Ben down the inside, gets alongside and Koolinen lets the brakes off and pushes Coleman off. And that's put Coleman back to Narnia. And well, yeah pretty uh, indicative of the driver to be honest with you he was not going to relinquish the place to Ben so he just let the brakes off and drove straight in the back of Coleman and well he's ruined ruined his race and Coleman's now the pits comes Kevin then so Kevin just ahead of this battle Ben now down the inside of Coolinen he's probably sick of the sight of him right by now and he's got it done Coolinen goes sideways in aggravation and well that's a change from ninth place Nathan it is though that leads with Sean now right behind him. So Sean's trying to stay with the Mercedes driver. And Sean will be, well, Nathan will be very pleased to see the fact that Kevin's on a one stop. I'm sure he feels that is a mistake as, well, I do as well. Let's see where Kevin is then. Here is Cozzy and behind him is Kevin. There is Kevin. So Kevin really needs to go like a bat out of hell now but also try and preserve his tyres if one stop seems to be the way he's going. The fact he's gone to lap 10 tells you that well, really he needs to do a one stopper. It was kind of pointless going to lap 10. Here's Alex on debut doing a great job. Number 7. And he's ahead of his teammate who's been in the car all season. Nathan leads from Sean then. And he's edging that one out. Lewis is third. Will fourth now as he starts to come forward with his uh, heavier fuel. Ahead of Adam fifth. Adam also absolutely dilating his tyres, which you'd expect. Liam sick for head of Cozzy. Watch out, Liam. I would say that's within range. <laughs> and Lewis makes a late decision to pit and got a little bit of a penalty for that, I think. But in he comes. So he's pitting lap 11, so he'll have to pit again, I would say. I doubt he'll get another set, get those tyres to the end. So this is a lap 11 and this is the second time he's pitted and there's still not well 10 laps to go I'd say he needs at least another pit stop and Adam's in as well the other pad driver so that tells you all about their issues today one thing for Lewis though he has got good pace and he comes out behind Kevin so that's interesting so well that will tell you roughly where uh, Nathan and that will come out so Kevin really needs to get on with this and the uh, St. Patrick's Day Nissan comes out just in front of Alex. And there's his teammate, Brian, up near the back, racing Andrew. So Nathan Lees, and he's pulling well away now from Sean. Here's Liam, and he's still fending off Cozzy. Cozzy's got great pace, but not great overtaking skills. <laughs> he's got really good pace, to be fair. 
Just needs to tone it down a bit. Maybe he's a bit excited. We're giving the benefit of the doubt. And there's Kevin, who really, really needs to get, get on with this. Through the fast Audi S. BMW closing in on the Audi. And like I say, great pace from Cozzy. Now into the chicane for the le race leaders, Nathan. And you can see he's visibly pulling away from Sean. So Sean, will he pit this lap? I think he's due. Yes, he is. And he's in. So Sean definitely on target for a free stop. Ooh, don't need those tyres anymore, so you might as well light him up. Crew's ready for him. I imagine he'll stick a load of fuel in now, and then he won't have to put it in for the last stop. He can just go with fresh tyres and low fuel. So lots of strategies at play here, and we're really not sure who's got the, who's fought it out the best because there's one stops, two stops, and three stops, and we're really not sure who's done it. So out comes Sean. He's behind Kevin. He's behind Lewis. So the, st <laughs> the order keeps changing after every pit stop. So we're not really sure who is going to win this race. And that's what we want. Bit of strategy always does that. So Nathan in the lead wheel up to second now. Remember he was down as low as eighth. But now he's back up to second. Remember he put a lot of fuel in. So expecting him to go a bit longer. Liam bobbing along in third with Cozzy in his slipstream. Fifth is um, Kevin. Sixth is Lewis. And then we go back to these guys. Still battling out in the midfield. There's a few more guys pit. Brian's in, Alex is in, and Andrew. So both le uh, Corvettes. Oh no, Andrew's still out. Sorry, so misread that. Nathan with great pace though. Set the fastest lap of the race early on lap eight. Will, well, Will doing a staggering job. He had great pace at Fuji, but strategy didn't really work out for him. He won a race at Monza, remember? the uh, sprint race. Cosio doesn't seem to have got any closer to Liam so Liam's keeping him at arm's length. And Kevin though has got hassle with Lewis right behind him. And I know Lewis pitted about a lap or two ago so he'll be on properly fresh tyres. Kevin's probably having to save fuel because he's doing that one stop he's going to have to at some point. Back onto the front straight they come, past the stadium. Ben in eighth. Still waiting for him to make his second and final stop. Coolen and Roughly doing the same, and Adam savaged the side of Yorgos. <laughs> Yorgos says, not in your life, Bucko, and straight back up the inside. Although he's going to have trouble trying to beat that Mercedes down the straight. Let's see. Adam's coming across like he normally does, and now he backs out of it. Down the inside, the poor shit out break the Mercedes but the Mercedes with fresh tyres does a switch back and easily retakes it Yorgos almost went into the barrier in sympathy Adam with a great move though tried the aggressive approach it didn't work tried the clean approach and it did so let's uh, go forward in that that's uh, yeah so it's still as it was as you were at the front Nathan with the lead Will doing a great job in second as we mentioned Liam third we just need all these pit stops to shake out and see where everyone is. And we'll get the answer in a couple laps. Because uh, the second stops are due now. The two stoppers. And the three stoppers will stop in the next three laps, I would say. But yeah, we still sit here genuinely not knowing who's going to win this race. But uh, there's been some action there. And Ben's recovering, is he, from a spin? Let's see. Down at the hairpin. And he's just gone in too deep. Put a wheel on the mud and just made the world's most pathetic half spin but that's dropped him behind Kunin and this is probably his in lap as well so that's really going to cost him so his dog day doesn't get any better I'm trying to recover from last position it's not helped that situation but Nathan doesn't need to worry about that as he starts to uh, think about winning this race he's got a lot of work to do he's in <coughs> in the pits sorry he's in the pits now and uh, I think that was Will following him in it was and Will's pretty good for fuel as well, so these two have come out pretty much as they were, so goodness for Will, because we're expecting Nathan to be right up there. As, uh, let's see what happens when they both come back to the track. Cozzy's in, 
and well Kalunen carries on with his most pathetic race I've ever seen and now decides he wants to take his penalty in the pit lane entrance <sighs> really right anyway Kevin up to second place Liam leads the race but it's due another pit stop Kevin we know is not stopping again Lewis is third we know he has got a pit again Sean's fourth we know he's got a pit again Ben comes back out into the action ahead of Coleman is he Coonan and well penalties now served but maybe brain fade not Kevin though second with well we know he has got the worst tyres of the whole grid at the moment he's up uh, in second place his tyres are five laps old the guys behind him are not very old we know Sean's are pretty much new but we know these guys have got to pit again Lewis up the back of Kevin and that's put him sideways and Kevin will be angry with that because he's trying to preserve these tyres and Lewis well yeah it says sorry just a misjudgment but it won't uh, impress Kevin I wouldn't have thought he's desperately trying to save tyres and fuel right now Sean is not trying to save anything he's on a free stop so he, he needs to get these guys out of the way Lewis looking for a switch back on Kevin gets sideways mid corner but manages to maintain the speed Sean doesn't know whether to follow or, or pass and they need to hurry up and think about, figure it out because Nathan's just behind them but Kevin doing a great defensive job and he's going to have to do a much he's going to have to do it a lot more because well let's say I don't think this is going to work Liam's in, so Liam's in for his final stop with six laps to go. As predicted, 5, 10 and 15. Right, let's see where he comes out. So Kevin will lead the race and Adam's going to lead the barrier. And he leaves it back onto the track. But Kevin still leads, but he's coming under a big attack now. Sean around the outside of Lewis. Lewis loses the back end of the car. And, well, Nathan pushes him off again. <laughs> Says, you haven't quite finished your crash, I'll help you. So uh, Kevin still right and fighting the rear guard action. Ben now caught up with Adam after Adam's spin and he'll take 8th position off Adam. Adam tries to retaliate like he did before on Kulunen but nope not this time. Ben's through and on much fresher tyres should be able to pull away. And in fact we expect maybe Adam to pit again. But Kevin, right, he has got 6 laps, 5 laps sorry to hold on against these cars. We know Sean's got to pit again so if Sean's not really in this. Um, Nathan we know is probably switched to a two stop now because he did pit quite late and then behind that is is that Liam? No it's uh, Lewis and um, we think Lewis has got to pit again as well so really at the moment he's only looking to fend off his championship rival Nathan because they're the two we know don't have to stop again sorry if this is confusing but there's three strategies at play here and everyone's on different single things here and just behind those is Will and we know that Will's been doing a great job and been fast so will he catch this bunch but ne here we go Kevin's gonna have to defend again luckily for him it's against Alexis and that probably won't be able to pass him on the straight but Sean's gonna go for it anyway tries around the outside but it's not gonna work on board with Nathan over the chicane they go and sh well again Kevin showing his skills defending from Sean he's got a little bit wide there on the uh in the middle of the corner but Sean's not going to be able to get through <coughs> and now we're going to have a free way down the straight Sean looking down the inside again he hasn't got the power Nathan swoops around the outside because he has got the power but well he's thinking better of it he's thinking of his championship and bails out of that move they both go wide Sean, Sean goes wide and Kevin goes wide Nathan swoops around the outside of Sean but Kevin still holds the lead Sean back down the inside of Nathan retakes second place great bit of driving by all three but it's still Kevin that leads he must be on a bonus for leading the race because he's just reluctant to let it go as we look down the, the rest of the order Yorgos and there's Adam coming out of the pits again so he's had a pit for a third time Coleman's in <coughs> but Kevin relentlessly leads this race He's only got four laps now to hold on. Sean up the back of him slightly there. Sean tried to avoid him there going on the grass, but <coughs> wasn't able to just completely miss the back end of the Toyota. 
for his fast S bend that really does eat the tyres. And look back from Kevin, and there is Sean. Not quite close enough though. Sean feeling the need to defend from Nathan now, which will help Kevin. And all, and we mentioned Will, and he's there. So Will's really zoomed up to the back of these guys. A lap ago, he wasn't even in the same shot. So the battling from these guys, and now Nathan pulls out on Sean, and look at that, it's night and day. DRS activated, see ya. And he even might have a shot at Kevin here, because he's closing so fast. But no, Kevin lives to fight another day, as Will tries to go around Sean as well. And nothing Sean can do about that, that's just pure power. Now Kevin's in trouble, and this is for the championship. This could be crucial. Sean Pitts. Kevin tries to edge out. Nathan gives him as much room as he needs. The width of a Mercedes. And Nathan muscles his way into the lead. Kevin has to react instantly. Remember he's nine points behind the championship. He needs to beat Nathan in this race. <coughs> Come what may. But I just really don't think he has the tyres. And up the back of Nathan. He tried to just switch back. It didn't work. Didn't time it properly. And now Nathan leads. And Kevin well. He did his best on what's left of his tyres. Is getting to that stage as we mentioned in the first thing that he's running on rims. Now Will on the uh, in the Porsche that's very very good on a set of tyres is now hounding him. Sean's come back out after his pit stop in sixth place. So let's see how he goes on fresh tyres and not a lot of fuel. He'll be one of the fastest guys on the track, I would have thought. But Nathan leads and is already running away. Will will know that and he needs to make a move on Kevin pretty quickly and especially with the uh, free stoppers closing in of Liam, Cozzy, Sean, Lewis all on fresh, fresh tyres, really fresh tyres. Will's already getting irate. He needs to get past the, the Greek driver. But the uh, Frenchman, not the sort of guy to try and take someone out so he's going to do this professionally great line through the corner there but Kevin's fast enough to hold on for now but the exit of the Porsche should be better than the Toyota and it is with the fresh tyres now he's thinking about the round the outside which will give him the inside for the chicane but no the Toyota just a little bit quicker in a straight Porsche pretty much like I mentioned at Fuji kind of similar to the Lexus in a way it's not the fastest on the straight but Kevin pretty much defending now at all the uh usual hot spots for overtaking and when you've got tyres like his that's pretty much every corner but here comes Will again now right in the slipstream buried underneath the rear wing of that Toyota and now he dives down the inside this time surely with the he'll have more grip which means better braking Kevin tries to outbreak him but uh, I think that's telling you everything you need to know Kevin about the state of your tyres and he relinquishes second place and this is getting worse for him and if you look back there's a horde of cars that are on fresh tyres but is there enough time in this race for them to catch him that's the only thing Kevin's one stop just didn't work probably didn't help when he got tagged and slid a bit and that would have taken some life out of them but it was just definitely the wrong strategy unfortunately and well he may pay a heavy price for it but he needs to try and stay in the championship and take it to the sprint race which you can see with Liam later on be out in the next coming days. Liam's a busy man, don't you know? Kevin already, look at the gap to Will. Will's just disappeared. Kevin has no grip. And here they come. Sean now has got to deal with Cozzy. Best of luck to you, pal. Through the Audi S. Brilliant corner. Kick of, well, a bit of dust there kicked up from the BMW. So, has that helped Sean get on terms? Not quite. there's Lewis so we got a battle from second down to seventh all the major players in this race but Nathan's gone and will probably win he's pulled out enough of a gap and as long as he saves enough fuel he'll be he'll be fine Will's the only person that could probably catch him and everyone else has got to try and get past Kevin and here we go out the last corner and you'll see that Liam's catching already just on pure grip coming out of the last corner so we got two laps to go and this and they've taken half a lap to catch Kevin so this should be pretty easy for everyone to get past him here comes Liam 
but no, Kevin's late as he can on the brakes, probably learnt his lesson from last lap, but he's drifting a little bit wide. Liam goes round the out, outside of, into the Mercedes arena, will he get it done? Kevin's fighting it, and now, cool, now here comes uh, Cozzy again, and he's just rammed Liam wide, <sighs> Christ's sake. And now Kevin's slapping Liam, Liam sideways. Fights back, Kevin into the side of Cozzy. Cozzy on the grass, comes back, hits Sean. Sean sideways, comes back, hits Cozzy. <laughs> and this is just turning into uh, a Royal Rumble now. But out the other side of that, Liam is up to third. Kevin is still fourth. He's still there. He will not be moved. Sean sideways out the corner. He pits Cozzy alongside him. Bit of rubbing down the straight. Bit more rubbing in the braking zone. Sort it out, boys. Lewis is there as well now. He tries to get on the inside of Gozzi, but, well, now we should settle down. Well, that was all a bit, all a bit uh, aggressive, I would say. Most of it needless. But again, Gozzi out breaking himself and into the side of, uh, well, Liam basically just drove straight in the back of him. <coughs> so, uh, well, he's knocking him down, isn't he? He's, I think he's hit everyone now. Sean with a great run there and it's just pure grip now. There's nothing Kevin can do about it. Although the Toyota's probably better down the straight. <laughs> he's positioned the car well. He's trying to come back across on the Lexus, but he's still there. Now here comes Cozzy again. Sean trying to go around the outside. That's not going to work. And he goes on the grass. Well, you're never going to get around the outside into the chicane. So an error from Sean. And still Kevin fights on. Now Lewis is through, so down to fifth for Kevin, and this championship is now starting to slip away with his, this race being double points. You get 50 for a win, and where he is right now is not good. The sprint race, you win, you can get 25 points for a win, so we're going to have to look into this. As Kevin still tries to retaliate to Lewis, but he's just not been able to stop, and he's gone into the side of Lewis. And that's just, I think this is getting frustrating now for Kevin. He realises his mistake. And, well... Lewis is through and now Sean looking down the inside and Lewis into the side of sorry Kevin into the side of Lewis again retakes the position Lewis tags him back and retakes takes the position back Sean <laughs> Sean and uh, Sean and Cozzy side by side again and well Kevin's knocking into the side of his fellow countryman and Sean's gone past on Kevin Kevin rams uh, Sean up the back and now he is completely out of tyres and well he did well to fight on, but in the end, he fought a losing battle, and he even lets his countrymen through, Cozzy. <coughs> Massive exchange there between all four, but to be honest, Kevin was never going to win that battle. And right now, he's in eighth with 20 points. Nathan's going to win with 50, so the championship would go to Nathan at this rate, as long as Nathan doesn't make a mistake. And there's nothing Kevin can do about it. He has no tyres. You're just going to have to hope these lot get into each other at the final chicane or something. And he can pick up the pieces. Let's see. It's not quite over yet. Kevin would be hoping that these guys crash into each other. And it's very likely. <laughs> Sean trying to get past Lewis. Looks down the inside. Lewis covers it well. But it's going to be Nathan that wins the race. And possibly the championship. We'll just have to see where Kevin finishes. Great win from Nathan. Fought that one through. Drove superbly. Will just as superb. Was second place for the Frenchman brilliant drive Liam third with barely any practice so he'll be over the moon with that fourth is his teammate Lewis fifth is gonna be Cozzy yes sixth is gonna be Sean seventh is Kevin but that's not enough to stop Nathan winning the championship Nathan has won the championship Ben's come home eighth Cullen and ninth Yorgos looks like he's gonna finish tenth once he takes his penalty Adam and eleventh is it gonna be yes looks like it <coughs> Adam into the last corner shocking tyre wear and it was just not to be and he can't even get out the last corner there but he's beaten Panos and the uh, not so lucky St. Patrick's Day livery of Coleman will finish 13th Alex looks like he's going to come home 14th Brian will be 15th and uh, Andrew will be 16th by from what I can see <coughs> well Coleman's well did the best he could and the top Corvette this week is going to be Alex on debut so well done to Alex he's had a tough time recently so hopefully he's happy that he managed to finish the race 
And it was Nathan that wins the race from Will Liam Cosy, although that he'll be under review. That it was Sean, Lewis, Kevin, Ben, Kulinen, Yorgos, Adam and Panos. Lewis setting the fastest lap of the race near the end. And below those guys, well, we saw it was Coleman, Alex, Brian and Andrew. <laughs> And that sees out the grid there, but wow, what a race. And Nathan, well, he did all he had to do and got very lucky with the strategy. But Nathan is the champion of Season 4, GT3, SBR. And, well, well deserved. He learnt a lot through the season from Kevin. And in the end, managed to outfox the champion. And we, uh, we'll be back for the second race with Liam, the sprint race, shortly. <laughs> 